So, uh, all right, so let's begin the seminar. Um, Brian is here. Yeah, so our speaker today is uh, Dr. Guo Li. Yes. He uh, obtained his PhD degree in 2011 at uh, College of Chemistry and Material uh, Molecular Engineering of Peking University in China. Okay. The research area was uh, in organic chemistry, in organic solid state chemistry, and the materials chemistry. Okay. And after he obtained his PhD, he went to the US uh, from 2011 to 2014, working as a postdoc in the geophysical lab at uh, Carnegie Institution for Science in Washington, DC, uh, where he did research in high pressure chemistry and high pressure neutron crystallography. And since 2014, he returned to China and became a staff scientist in a brand new research center called HP Star. And it means Center for High Pressure Science and Technology Advanced Research. His interest, uh, research interests include reaction mechanism of polymerization on saturated organic molecules and inorganic salts and the high pressure properties of these uh, systems and uh, crystal structures of hydrogen bonding molecular crystals and uh, their development under high pressure and the in situ high pressure neutron diffractions. So, uh, uh, Kuo uh, attend was attending a high pressure conference last week. In, uh, in the UK, and I was uh, very fortunate to be able to invite him over here at the IPC to give a talk before he flies back to China. Okay, so uh, today we'll hear about um, the synthesis of multiple dimensional nanocarbon materials and the reaction mechanism. So, call cool, please. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy to uh, be here and uh, to uh, discuss science with uh, Dr. Chen's group. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about the nano threads, basically, and also some nano uh, carbon ribbon materials, as well as the, uh, uh, the reaction mechanism. First, uh, I, I would like to introduce uh, our institute, HP Star. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are a, a pretty new uh, institute uh, founded 10 years ago. and. Uh, we have three branches uh, in Beijing, which is headquarter, and in Shanghai, next to the uh, Shanghai Synchrotron Radiation uh, Facility. And uh, uh, another, the, the, the third branch is uh, in Changchun. So Chang, Changchun is here, and uh, Beijing is here, Shanghai is here. And Changchun, uh, we have a lab in, uh, in the campus of Jilin University. We have uh, more than 40 staff scientists in total, and uh, uh, more than 100 students um, in uh, uh, all of these uh, three branches. Okay, uh, this is the plan. First, I would like to uh, use uh, a couple of slides to uh, uh, introduce the pressure-induced parameterization and then introduce some uh, examples of the synthesis of diamond-based nanomaterials and then discuss the uh, mechanisms. So first about pressure-induced parameterization. Uh, I think most of the uh, high-pressure scientists are focusing on the hard materials. That, that is uh, ionic materials or atomic metallic compounds. The, uh, I, I, I think the key point of this kind of, uh, uh, the, the key feature of this compound is the it, these materials are uh, almost uh, atomic-based. Uh, there, there, there are only one uh, or uh, approximately one kind of interaction between the atoms that that is ionic bond or a uh, metallic bond or, or sometimes a covalent bond between the atoms. But uh, what what are different is uh, the the molecular compounds, which is also called soft materials. Uh, uh, approximately, yeah. <clears throat> Why it is called soft materials? Because the interaction between the molecules are uh, relatively weak. However, the uh, interactions inside uh, molecules, that is intramolecular, uh, intramolecular interaction is still very strong. Uh, the bond energy is, is around several hundred kilojoules per mole. So that means we can play between the uh, intramolecular interactions and the intermolecular interactions. That brings uh, a lot of size. Uh, 
for the small dynamics, I think uh, it, it's relatively easy to obtain that from the uh, physical chemistry books. So when they're comprising a substance A, uh, it's uh, D uh, gives the free energy equals to uh, minus SDT plus VDP. So that is for a uh, so small curve size, when DT equals to zero. So all of these terms are uh, canceled and uh, to be zero. and uh, uh, dg uh, a equals to uh, va dp. That means delta g equals to the integral of the equation for state on the p axis from p0 to p1. So this is the contribution of the Gibbs free energy uh, of the, uh, from the uh, high pressure. So then for a cross size or for a, like a, a bit transition or for a chemical reaction from a to b, now the delta G at uh, a high pressure P1, that would be equal to uh, the delta, delta, uh, delta G at ambient condition plus the contribution of high pressure on uh, both the B and the A. So that's that smaller way, uh, smaller way would be favored. So because smaller way will uh, contribute uh, 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 will, will contribute a little to the Gibbs free energy. Uh, so we, we can also use such kind of uh, a phase diagram for, for that. The here inside the right shape, that is the uh, contribution of the high pressure to the Gibbs free energy for uh, the substance A, and in this area it is contribution uh, to uh, the substance B. And the, the difference between these two shapes are the uh, here, the, the contribution of the high pressure to this reaction. So, uh, because the, oh, sorry, because the uh, uh, one to chemical reaction, uh, to, to chemical bond is all, all, always favored. So uh, typically uh, the uh, polymerization or even condensation polymerization is favored and high pressure. This is uh, the country of uh, thermodynamics. Uh, also for the dynamics, uh, what we are uh, focusing on uh, uh, focusing is, is the uh, delta G plus plus, which also equals to uh, delta V plus plus dP. Uh, that suggests the topo chemical reaction would be favored because for topo chemical reaction, the molecules do not need to shift and rotate and migrate to uh, a long distance. Uh, that would uh, acquire a, a much bigger uh, uh, and a much uh, complex reaction process. So that uh, that so that's top chemical reaction is favor, uh, and uh, this is what uh, we are focusing on. Uh, now, in the second part, uh, I, I'm going to introduce the high pressure synthesis of uh, several diamond-based nanomaterials. The logic is still from the uh, zero-dimensional molecule to uh, and high uh, apply pressure and compress them to form one-dimensional nanothread. Sometimes to uh, cos A 1D uh, or cos A 2D materials and then to 2D materials. And uh, if there, uh, if, if, if the molecule uh, geometry and the composition is allowed, uh, 3D materials can also uh, be formed. Uh, uh, in one word, it is also a process from the Van der Waals interaction to uh, covalent bond uh, systems. And the carbon will transform from SP uh, hybridization to SP2 and SP3 hybridization. Uh, there are three types of materials I'm going to discuss, and, and I will go, uh, focus on the first two uh, groups, uh, diamond nano threads and uh, carbon nano ribbons. And also, I, I think all of you uh, know the high pressure synthesis of the diamond nano thread, the uh, work of uh, Dr. John Martin uh, in 2015. And uh, uh, be before his work, almost every scientist uh, uh, except that when we compress bending to a very high pressure like 20 GPA, and the uh, product will be amorphous uh, carbon hydrogen materials. They don't know what happened. They, they know the benzene molecule polymerized, but they do not know what kind of uh, materials we really obtained because it's amorphous. But in Dr. John Martin's work, they found by slowly compressing the benzene molecules, and uh, they can obtain the nano threads in very good uh, stacking. And uh, they also uh, investigated the intra-thread structure of the nano thread, and they proposed a, a lot of uh, 
uh, models, and uh, they conclude in, in their paper it may have such kind of uh, 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 intra-thread structures. It, it's a composition of several kinds of local structures. So the, the question uh, becomes how to get uh, ordered uh, 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 materials with ordered intra-thread structure as well as uh, good intermolecular or inter-thread stacking. So uh, a lot of scientists uh, made a contribution and um, uh, many of them focus on the iron, perfluorary iron uh, co crystal because the uh, uh, fluorine is a very electron negative. Uh, well, uh, hydrogen is not so electron negative, so that there would be a type of, uh, it's a quadruple, quadruple stacking, or, or sometimes we call it electrostatic stacking between these two uh, types of materials. And they can form very good stacking, they, they stack in columns. Also, uh, the uh, nephthalene, perfluorol nephthalene also have a good uh, column stacking. So uh, in this work, uh, we compressed that to uh, 20 GPA and uh, above, and uh, we found, unfortunately, we, we didn't find the diamond nano thread, but uh, the product we found, uh, it, it looks like a uh, 2D materials. It, it is fluorine substituted uh, graphene. And uh, for, uh, in Dr. Uh, Robert Bini and uh, Tim Strobel's work, they, Comprised the uh, nephthalene, perfluorol uh, nephthalene, and uh, they obtained the materials with good ordering. Uh, they can ob uh, observe very sharp uh, 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 X-ray diffraction spots. However, the intra-thread structures, intra-thread structure, uh, the the structure inside the nano threads, uh, they do not agree with, with each other. Uh, this, this is from Dr. Binney's work, and this, this is from Tim Straubel's work. You can see the inter uh, thread structure are completely different. So that's, that's a, it's still a problem to obtain um, uh, diamond thread uh, with a good inter thread ordering and, and intra thread uh, uh, order structure. And uh, there are also some uh, other uh, kind of uh, research they uh, use uh, oxygen and the sulfur to replace the uh, uh, structure of the aromatic ring. Uh, here is the front and uh, here is the sulfur. And uh, what, what they obtained is also the uh, hexagonal stack nano thread. They, they can conclude that from the uh, diffraction uh, techniques. However, uh, they, uh, they, they claim that uh, because the aromaticity of the uh, rings are decreased and uh, there are uh, only four carbons can react with each other and uh, they conclude uh, the reaction paths uh, are limited. However, they, they cannot exclude the cis uh, reaction uh, from the, the trans reaction. You, you can see here, uh, the, all of the oxygen are uh, pointing to the right side and here, uh, one to right side and the other to the left side. They call it a sin and anti-commigration. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I think also it, it is the same case in the uh, cell phone uh, case. So uh, we also uh, came, came across this uh, uh, system uh, by uh, when we uh, investigating the uh, tetrazole system. We investigate the polymerization of tetrazole not, uh, that does not because we want to study the another side because we want to uh, synthesize high energy density materials because for the uh, nitrogen atoms, if we compress them to form uh, extended uh, sigma bond structure, it will uh, include a, a very high uh, chemical energy. And uh, when they uh, release to ambient condition, they, they can explode and release the energy. However, uh, even we compressed the tetrazole molecule to uh, 100 gigapascal, uh, in our simulation, we found that the nitrogen atoms does not form bond with nitrogen but it forms bonds to carbon atoms. This, this is not what, what, what we want to uh, see. However, uh, from this kind of reaction, we found that nitrogen is also a good inert item to uh, for, for the synthesis of carbon nanothreads. So uh, we just reviewed all the work uh, before and we found that if we want to synthesize atom scale order nanothreads, there are two kinds of ordering. 
One is the interest rate ordering. Uh, if we want to get a good interest rate ordering, uh, the polymerization reaction uh, should be uh, one only one reaction, one pass. If there are several kinds of reaction, uh, the interest rate ordering is, is uh, very hard to be uh, reached. Also for the interest rate ordering, uh, the molecule should have a uh, very older stacking and uh, the molecular interaction should be stronger. And also the interaction between the columes because the, arom the aromatic molecules always tend to stack into columes. The uh, interaction between the uh, columes and the interaction inside the columns should also be strong. Yeah, so this, this is a schematic figure. So if, if the uh, there are many passes uh, uh, in the chain, uh, 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 in, in, in the column uh, that, that are feasible for the polymerization. The result would, would be uh, the obtained product will have uh, a lot of uh, configurations. And also, if the stacking is not good, even if there is inner items, the stacking, uh, the, the product uh, will, uh, would, would not have so good ordering. So we select the investigated the molecule of triazine. It has uh, three nitrogen atoms and three common atoms. Uh, we checked the crystal structure uh, of the triazine molecule and we found the triazine molecule just uh, overlap with the next one with carbon and nitrogen uh, overlap, uh, overlap with, with each other. Here, you will see uh, here that the nitrogen is not bonded to the hydrogen, uh, but the Carbon atoms below the molecular surface, uh, uh, that is uh, 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 the neighbor molecule, it, it has a hydrogen uh, right here. So the nitrogen is just uh, stacked against the uh, carbon, and the carbon uh, stacked against the nitrogen. This, this is a, a very good uh, com uh, confirmation according to our previous petrol uh, investigation. So we compress it and uh, uh, heat it up a little bit. And uh, we are very lucky, and uh, we saw a lot of diffraction rings. If you remember from the previous investigations, uh, most of the products only have uh, 